Welcome to Lombardi's Pizzeria. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Hi, I'm Morgana. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. We're here at Spring Street and Mott Street at Lombardi's Pizzeria, the oldest licensed pizzeria in the United States, owned by John Brescio. Pizza is popular all over the world. Did you know that 93% of Americans eat pizza at least once a month? It's estimated that over 5 billion pizzas are sold worldwide each year. But where does pizza come from, and why is it so popular? Today we're going to meet Scott Wiener, who runs Scott's Pizza Tours here in New York City. He's a pizza lover, a pizza eater, and a pizza historian. He's going to talk to us about the history of pizza and how it's made. Where does pizza come from? Uh, pizza originally comes from Italy, but it's based on foods from all over the Mediterranean, because Italy is right in the center of the Mediterranean Sea, and it actually draws its food from other s countries and other cities around the Mediterranean. So for instance, the bread that is our crust on pizza is actually based on the Greek flatbread called pita. Have you ever had pita bread? Yeah, I have. Well, that's exactly what started the pizza. In fact, the word pita and the word pizza are, sound pretty alike, don't yeah. they? Well, there's a reason. The pita is pita's, pizza's cousin. When did pizza get so popular in the United States, and why? Well, pizza wasn't very popular until World War II. In the middle of the 1940s, American GIs were going to Italy to serve in the war, and they were coming back after eating pizza. And they told their friends and their family members about how delicious this dish was and how inexpensive it was. And all of a sudden, pizzerias started opening up all over the country. What goes into pizza? And does it always have to be round? Well, pizza usually is a crust, some sort of a sauce, like a tomato, what we have here, and of course a cheese. And it does not always have to be round. In fact, you can see it in oval shapes or rectangles or squares. And usually a square pizza in New York City is very thick, and has a lot of cheese on top and we call it a Sicilian pizza because it resembles the pizza that Sicilian women were making for their families in the early 1900s right here in New York City and it was square because they pushed the dough out on cookie sheets. I understand you go to pizza making competitions. Could you tell us about them? Yeah, they have pizza making competitions all over the country and I usually go to the one in New York City and there's one in Las Vegas where I serve as a judge and what they do is you have people from all over the world making their own different varieties of pizza. People from Japan use a lot of seafood. People from Canada are using caviar and smoked salmon and lemon. And you get to eat all these international types of pizza. It's tough to be a judge, though, because they all have such different angles to them. And if I don't like pineapple and there's pineapple on the pizza, it's kind of bad news for that pizza. Luckily, I like everything on pizza. That's why I like judging pizza competitions. How did you get so interested in pizza? Well, I always loved pizza. I loved eating it. Every Wednesday night, we would pick up pizza from our local pizzeria. And uh, when I went away to college, I was eating pizza a lot because it's all I could afford. Then I started studying the pizza. And I started looking for the best type of pizza and learning about what made it so good. Then I traveled around the country with some friends of mine. And I ate pizza in every city I visited. And I found that there were so many local variations. And when I got back home to the New York area, I realized that our pizza was so different, and I wanted to find out why. So I started researching. And the more I researched, the more I wanted to eat it. The more I wanted to eat it, the more I wanted to research it. So I love pizza. That's it from my corner of the world. See you next time.